let's first start with explaining how this launch.sh works. So i3 has this line in here. We've seen it in one of our videos earlier on. Polybar. This line says execute always, no start up ID and execute this launch thing. So what's in here? I've always, this Archmarch is a learning distro, meaning you can always control C this thing, go to any browser and copy paste it in and you'll find information about what you're looking for, what the information you have about monitors, X render and stuff like that. So everything is pointing back to a place where you can learn. Okay, so, well, you could install, for instance, uh, nerd fonts. It's an interesting uh, way to make extra, to have extra fonts. So, continuing with um, the video here. This nerd fonts complete is a bit too big. You'll see that it's about 200, 300 megabytes. So putting that on the ISO is a bit too big. But if you want those nerd fonts to use those, that's fine by me. What we've used, and that's also uh, quite in interesting to see, is the awesome cheat sheet. Let's Google this one. Oh, we are on Bing. So anyway, successful. This is the thing you need. And this is all the icons we use are coming from the awesome font type. So if you see something in here, you say, oh, that's nice. I want to have that one. So just control C it and get to anywhere in here and you can control V it and you have this icon as well. So that's our way of doing it rather than installing 200 megabytes of uh, icons just for a few um, icon fonts. So what does, what, what does this do? It launches Polybar. At first, it's going to kill everything. Everything that's um, named Polybar is going to be quit. Then, wait until the process has been, have been shut down. It can be that you have multiple Polybars. So one on the bottom, one on the top, for instance. So everything should be stopped. So we, we, we wait until everything is gone and we sleep till everything is gone. That's this line here. Then we're going to figure out which, what desktop we're on. So it's going uh, to show something. It's going to show the desktop. And the desktop is either i3, either Openbox, and we'll probably make more in the future. Either it's going to be BSPWM. We could do Xmonad and so on and so on and so on. Okay. What does what happens then? This is okay, we have XRender, but it's just a test. Is XRender there? Yes, XRender is there. And um, voila, what does this coding do? Let's kill this one again. It's gonna, ex gonna run this command. Okay, so control C. Oops, that's what I wanted to do. So it's going to figure out, query, what's XRender, grab the connected one out of it and cut and give us the file to the screen that's actually showing us our, uh, our screen, the name of our screen. So that's going to be in there and monitor is going to be the variable where it's going to be put. And each time is going through various elements, meaning you can have HDMI 0, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, meaning you have three monitors. So it's going through all the monitors and give each of the monitors a polybar. We're going to say that it's uh, if you save something that the polybar will be reloaded. And if it's an i3, we're going to show the, the main bar i3. And if it's an open box, we're going to show the main bar open box. And it's on BSP WM, we're going to show the main bar PSPWM. So that's basically what it does. It's make sure that if you have multiple monitors, that it will work as well. And if you have one monitor, it will work as well. So basically, this is a uh, rather difficult script just to put polybars on any screen possible. One screen, two screens, 100 screens. It will show up there. 
that concludes our launch.sh and let's continue with the config but not well, well we'll stop just until we have the modules there are lots of links in here again arch merch urges you to learn and have fun in learning so all these links are interesting to follow ctrl c get up here it's maybe yeah it's the same link ctrl v go ahead and check it out what it says because here you have configuration everything information on fonts formatting interprocess messaging backlight battery and so on so on so on so show 14 or pages more so we have we took all these modules and we've integrated them in our configuration but of course we've changed it and tweaked it the way we wanted so that's that um global uh, information here about windows manager should check it out here margin zero zero some settings general settings configuration application settings and here we can set some things let's see what we what what's interesting well, this is a strange color, and by the way, that's this coloring is because we've installed packages, and in here, in install, we have asked pigments, and pigments colors or codes here, hexadecimal code. So if things look ugly, in, in the sense that the foreground is uh, red and the background is green, that's because you did not define the colors, and that's, uh, well, a handy way of figuring out, hey, I forgot to do something. So that's why these colors are there. And here we have our colors. So what we're looking at here, up here, those are defined in the North theme. This is the North theme. And there is also the Gotham theme and the Interceptor theme. And um, that's it. Then we're off to the main bar i3. So this is the main bar i3 that's active because of the fact that he asked what desktop session is this he got a variable and then if the variable is i3 then it's going to show the main bar i3 got it so it's going to load this thing main bar i3 and there's again a reference to the wiki and we have um, here the monitor is, is set but if anything goes wrong and you know what your name is you can change this one to the fallback and uh, try to to figure it out that way if, if the color bar for some reason is not coming to well not, not not showing up anything else that's important for now maybe the height you can change a little bit smaller or bigger let's quick test here 20 ctrl z ctrl z and save again like you see when you save something it's reloaded automatically so that's a quite interesting trick line size line color border size you can make border size i don't know 10 or something and then depending on the wallpaper let's get another wallpaper in another wallpaper in maybe you see here the darkness of the border around the polybar so we could make the border transparent like so and then you get something like this so a lot of things can be changed. Let's get back to the standard setting. And padding left and right, model left, the margins. The fonts, I've gone, of course, for the Notal Sans regular, the same font as we use in all Arch Merge uh, desktops. And this is because for the, for the icons, the little things up here, the little world and and folder and so on that's coming from font awesome and this one we need for these figures from the cpu so they keep their place they should be a monospace you can change this thing but it must be a monospace font otherwise the cpu will, will vary and will jump around and that's not nice and then we're up to the modules the modules and uh, the left module is i3 this is i3 X window is this thing in, in the middle we have network speed up and speed down but it's not there because we do, do need to change our network interface memory 2 30 percent memory cpu six percent and the date and we can click on the date as well to get something else and um, those are the system icons so that's not well not defined it is defined 
but it's it's in here trade position right um, left false skip off it maximum size transparent you can make it transparent I know it's if it's nice or not uh, but it's in this case with this wallpaper doesn't look nice at all so it's a bit out of place but it can be transparent like the rest of the uh, polybar if you want to so mm -hmm, that's okay now the rest is not so interesting to talk about scroll up scroll down we can click here like so that's scrolling and uh, double click we did not do anything with double click left or double click middle we might do in the future but it's there and then we are off to our modules because this is the main bar open box i'll keep that for another tutorial so we should scroll all the way down and talk about modules but that's going to be in another um, explanation because we need to really scroll down all the way till here nope even further down all right, around 580, we have the modules A to Z. So the AUR updates, if you want to see this module, how to get it, that's for another tutorial.